State Supreme Court handing down a major decision in the case against former Minneapolis police officer Muhammad Noor. The court has overturned Noor's third degree murder conviction in the death of Justine Damon in 2017. That is our top story tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Randy Meyer. Paul Bloom is live outside the courthouse for us tonight. And Paul, this could have some major implications in several other cases. Randy, this is a major ruling from the state's high court in St. Paul, particularly when it comes to the use of this murder three statute to prosecute police officers for on duty deaths. Of course, the immediate impact is on Muhammad Noor himself. He's sitting behind bars right now on a 12 and a half year prison sentence that immediately gets slashed. In fact, most experts I spoke to today think he'll be home by the end of the year now. Uh, he was just uh, beside himself uh, with appreciation. The legal team for former Minneapolis police officer Muhammad Noor celebrating the Minnesota Supreme Court ruling overturning Noor's conviction for third degree murder. The case now sent back to Hennepin County for resentencing on the lesser charge of second degree manslaughter. His attorneys not wanting to speculate, but figure with time served, Noor will likely be released from custody soon. We're just grateful that we're close to the end zone as far as we see it for Moe's sake. Nor was charged with the July 2017 shooting death of 911 caller Justine Ruzchek Damon in the alley behind her Minneapolis home. Testifying at trial that he saw a shadowy female figure at the side of the squad window and fired a single shot at her fearing a potential ambush. A jury found Nor guilty of second degree manslaughter as well as third degree murder. The statute which reads in part quote whoever without intent to affect the death of any person causes the death of another by perpetrating an act eminently dangerous to others and evincing a depraved mind. Many legal experts have argued others means that the criminal action cannot be directed at a single person. For instance, Ruzchek Damon. On Wednesday, the Minnesota Supreme Court agreed with that assessment. That law is simply that an individual cannot commit depraved mind murder if their conduct is focused on a specific particular person, as was the case here. That law is clear. I don't think that this will have a significant impact on police prosecutions going forward. There are many options in terms of degrees of murder and manslaughter. Some interesting insights there from Susan Gartner, of course, uh, the former head prosecutor here in Ramsey County. Now, as for what happens next, at some point, Mohammed Noor will be brought back into this Hennepin County courtroom. When that happens, not entirely clear at this point, but the judge then would resentence him, resentence him. And as you heard his attorneys say there, with time served, it's likely he would then head home. Reporting live in St. Paul, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.